Hi, first grade. Today we're going to read Dolphin Baby by Nicola Davies. Dolphin Baby. Tail first, head last, Dolphin pops out into the blue. He's creased and crinkled from being curled inside his mother. His tail flukes are floppy from being folded for so long. He's all brand new, but right away he swims up, up, up. Baby dolphins are born one at a time and are called calves. <laughs> his blowhole opens when it touches the air and he takes his first breath. Mom is right beside him and they breathe together in perfect time. <laughs> dolphins are mammals like you and me. So although they live all their lives in the sea, they must come to the surface to breathe air. When mom swims, dolphin knows that he must follow. Swimming and following are things baby dolphins are born knowing. But suckling takes a little practice. Newborn dolphins suckle two or three times every hour for just a few seconds each time. Dolphin dives beneath his mother to find one of her nipples. They are tucked into slits under her belly. It takes him a while to get it right, and then he needs to take another breath or two. Mom and Dolphin rest together. Dolphin rubs his tummy on Mom's round head. Mom strokes him with her flipper. She whistles to him, a whistle that is just hers, her name in dolphin sound. Shreep! He whistles back, but for now, his whistles make no sense. They're just baby talk. Dolphins communicate with lots of different whistles. Every dolphin has one whistle that's its own, a bit like our human names. Others have arrived to take a look at the newborn dolphin. They're all around. Their voices fill the water. They're curious about this new member of their group. But mom knows that what new babies need is peace and quiet. Soon she swims away with Dolphin close beside her. Dolphins are very sociable and live in close groups of around 15, which split up and reform all the time. In just a few weeks, Dolphin has grown so much. His folds and creases are all gone. He's smooth and gray. He doesn't swim beside mom now, the way newborn babies do, but underneath her tail, like bigger calves. Now he's old enough to make friends. The youngsters play, chasing, carrying, showing off. Male calves make best friends with one or two other males that they'll know all their lives. But then mom whistles and Dolphin knows he must go back. Playing can't take all day. Mom needs to swim off and hunt for food. Dolphin stays close, but sometimes mom zooms after fish too fast for him to follow. About adult dolphins spend about a third of every day hunting and eating. Or she dives deep where he can't go. Dolphin hears her clicking, using sounds and echoes to find food where it's too dark or too deep for her to see. He clicks too and listens to the echoes of his voice so he can hear mom's shape and movement when she's out of sight. It takes several years for calves to be able to dive as deep as adults can. A dolphin's round forehead is called a melon. It helps the dolphin make clicks and find its way around using sound. Mom doesn't stay away for long. She whistles, shreep, when she's coming back. She brings a fish for dolphin, still alive. He clicks at it to learn the echo shape that it makes so that one day he'll be able to catch his own. Then mom eats it up in two quick bites. No need to share as dolphin is still fed by her milk. Dolphins sometimes work together to herd fish, but often hunt alone. They never share a fish that they catch, not even with their calves. It's been six months since dolphin popped into the blue. He's not a grown up yet, but he's not a baby anymore either because today, Dolphin has caught his first fish. Snacking on fish near the surface is just one of the many ways dolphins learn to catch their dinner. And when mom whistles her sound name, shreep, he doesn't whistle back in baby talk, but answers with a whistle that's his very own. Eeseep.
This whistle will be his for all his life. His name in Dolphin. Dolphin calves stay with their mothers for about four years. They start to have babies at about age 12 and can live for 20 to 30 years in the wild.